341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. Boy, Chabba, the real Chabba, man. Where your head go at on his way, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look out for the new album. It's called Life is Bigger, man. New Orleans Talk Network, man. What's up? Y'all know where it is. Come on, we about to drop this thing, man. Oh, yeah, we live, dude. We in here. New Orleans, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Y'all know how it's going down. Skip, chicken and watermelon on New Orleans Talk Network. Boom. I could talk for New Orleans for the network. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, Moon Live, and it's Big Sherman. Rockefeller 2.5 quarter, but bitchin' is going down right now. New Orleans Talk Network, y'all stand me. And we holding it down, nigga. I let the fucking guala. <laughs> It's your boy, Go DJ Black and Ma, CEO to Go DJs Louisiana. You are not tuned in to the liveest live line that you can ever, ever, ever see. It's the live line right here in New Orleans on the New Orleans Talk Radio Network. All that good stuff. If I said it wrong, I don't care. We out here. Let's go. New Orleans Talk Network. Yeah. New Orleans Talk Network. We live on New Orleans Talk Network. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Putting in work, you feel me? Uh, on your back like a tattoo. I thought you knew, baby. Ooh. Oh, the prince is big chew, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> My sister in the building, Nipplegate herself, Black Coco. Hi, y'all. What up, Nipplegate? <laughs> <laughs> y'all know on Instagram. I'm just saying, what up, Nipplegate? Mm-hmm. So look, man, y'all check out the live line. Y'all check out the live line on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Periscope, and Twitter. That's at right. the live line 504 is where you can get us at. Also, uh, www.neworleanstalknetwork.com backslash mm-hmm. live dash line, or you could just go on the network's page. Click on the live line. Check out all the different clips, uh, music videos, um, and things of the past that has been going on here on the live line, man. Uh, and also, they can request to get interviewed there. You well. can also request to get interviewed. So if any artist Not wants my to get DMs. interviewed or <laughs> any artist wants to get interviewed or they want to print, um, send their videos to us, that's the way to go. Just that's go on the, the live line's page, type in a request, send us a clip, we'll hook it up. All that's right? right. So, go on the page, man. Very, very interesting, man. And you'll get to see different little uh, things like uh, we had the live mic series. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you get to see different artists performing live um, here on the show. Uh, speaking of artists, mm-hmm. um, last week we, we, we lost a, another promising uh, artist, uh, Young Greatness. And he came down for a funeral and uh, didn't make it back home. Didn't make it back home. Uh, Young Greatness was shot and killed um, in the Gentilly area, um, right outside of Waffle, Waffle House um, on Elysian Fields. He was 34 years old. Uh, police are still searching for the two people in connection with the fatal shooting. Um, it happened about 1.35 a.m. that Monday morning, 2900 block, block of Elysian Fields. He was found lying face down in the street with a gunshot wound to the back. He's pronounced dead on the scene. Coroner's office later confirmed that he wa- it was Young Greatness, a.k.a. Uh, Theodore Jones. Um, on Monday of uh, last week, um, his mother, Miss Rose, uh, Janine Rose, told WDSU-TV that her son had been in New Orleans to attend a funeral and was on FaceTime with his manager mm-hmm. when the shooting started in the parking lot of Waffle House. Uh, she had strong words for the city, saying that because of the pervasive violence, there are too many mothers making slow walks to sad tunes. Um, 
It seemed that Jones had escaped the city streets after years of struggle with legal woes, hard work. He had finally uh, established himself as a rapper. Um, as you know, he was raised in the St. Bernard Housing Project. Uh, he graduated from Kennedy High School in 2002. Uh, three years later, Katrina moved him to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. When he got to Atlanta, he started focusing on his rap career. Um, and it ended up paying off after he returned to New Orleans, like around 2007. Uh, caught a little bad deal. Uh, he was trying to sling to get some studio time. Basically, mm -hmm. um, you know, saying make money to get some studio time. Got caught up, did a little stint real quick, but uh, eventually resumed his career. He dropped a mixtape in 2015 called I Tried to Tell Him. And then next thing you know, Moolah hits the scene and boom, he blows up. Yeah. Um, we uh, have a clip courtesy of WWL TV um, about. Young Greatness, man. We're going to play that video for you guys right now. Check it out. Home, an up and coming New Orleans rapper shot and killed overnight in the parking lot of a Waffle House along Elysian Fields just before I 610. And family members say the victim is 35 year old Theodore Jones, uh, also known as Young Greatness. WDSU's Heath Allen just spoke with the family and joins us now live with the latest information on this unfolding story. Heath. Hey, Charles, Randy, I just got off the phone with Janine Rose, who now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and obviously she's devastated at this point over the loss of her son. Family members, including Miss Rose, identify the victim as 35-year-old Theodore Jones, known as Young Greatness. Here's what we know right now. Police say gunfire broke out outside this Waffle House in the 2900 block of Elysian Fields just after 1.30 this morning. Shell casings were found in the parking lot the victim found near the curb. Jones's mother, Miss Rose, now living in Atlanta, tells me he was actually FaceTiming with his manager when the shooting occurred. What led to the murder, not known at this time. Rose says Jones was actually in New Orleans for a funeral and was supposed to have been back in Atlanta yesterday. Rose says her son graduated from Kennedy High back in 2002, never violent, didn't carry a gun. And she's upset over the continuing violence in New Orleans. She says the night doesn't have any eyes. She says nothing good happens at night. I can't stand that place. They can have it with their politics and potholes. It's too many mothers taking slow walks to sad tunes while they sit at home and play politics with people life and people living. They can have it down there. Again, New Orleans police investigating an overnight murder in the parking lot of this Waffle House on Elysian Fields. The victim identified by family members as 35-year-old Theodore Jones, a rapper known as Young Greatness. We'll have more on this continuing story. So that was a clip courtesy, I'm sorry, of WDSU TV um, about, uh, about Young Greatness. Uh, once again, did... Uh, at the age of uh, 34 years old. Um, mm -hmm. Dang, man, that's some strong words coming from his mom. Um, it's kind of bad, man, when someone who was uh, raised here, uh, you know, lived here, lady probably lived there all of, most of her adult, you know, not only her, you know, like but young you, life, but adult life. Um, but you say can't something blame so her. bad about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's real bad when it when it gets that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's bad. I can't I mean, blame like, it at all. Well, I can't blame hold on. it at all. To be yeah. honest, I didn't get the... I'm going to just be honest. Like, when I found out that Teddy died, I didn't get the uh, the call or from anybody that... Any one of our friends that actually knows him. Mm -hmm. You guys actually said it through a text mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. That I found out. That's how I found out my friend died. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really was kind of happy that we canceled the show last week because yeah. I wasn't ready for that. Right. And then... The dude that I'm dating, that's how he found out from Instagram and everything. So it became this whole publicity stunt. And then mm -hmm. you had like the side chicks and the hoes talking about something. He was just texting me and then they started posting you like know, all of his wrong. text messages and everything, not respecting the fact that this man had a family. And she's right, absolutely right. Man. Like, right. he wasn't violent. He was a very nice person. And the last thing I remember him saying was, Coco, when you gonna get me on this show? Come on, Coco. And I would be like, 
come on now, let's be for real. You ain't trying to fuck with me. But he was just a big flirt, and he was just a friendly person, and he was a nice person, and it's sad. You don't expect, like, people that you see and you care about Mm -hmm. to not be there the next day. Right. So, I feel her. Yeah. Like, I do. Like, when I posted the picture and then I took it down, like like, like I said, I I was dating somebody that was actually, well, I am dating somebody that was actually uh, his tour DJ. When Moolah came out, right. along with uh, DJ Ra or Rare, whatever your name is, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Um, and he hasn't recovered from that either. Like, right, right. it's it's hard for people who have actually interacted with this man mm-hmm. and know that he wasn't really about this. And then to shoot him in his back, I know you were jealous. Mark Caesar said it perfectly. <laughs> like, I'm just scared that my city is going to, because technically I have to claim New Orleans now, just to be honest with y'all. I've been here for, yeah, I've been here 10 years, going on 10 years. New Orleans is your city. Right. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you're a, you know, like if you're a dual citizen of a a country. Of a country, right. But he said it really, the right way, I guess. Um, He said, right after Teddy died, I'm just afraid that my city is going to kill me or hurt me over something that they think I have when I have nothing. That's the reason why I released statements like in the last couple of days that said I'm popular. I'm mm-hmm. not, you know, famous. Like mm-hmm. he had that song, but people don't understand that was like really pretty much like a, a one song so, deal. So people don't realize, and I will go on, go in, elaborate on that. The song didn't go platinum; it did make gold, which it means did. that it sold like five, like a little more than five hundred thousand dollar records. Um, which means that he basically made his money back. People, that's it. If he made that, I'm just saying. Yeah, you know what I'm like, saying like, I don't think people understand like the logistics of music and like you know they just think they just see, oh you selling this, you selling that, and I don't think they get the logistics of the spending that goes into it. That's right. Or that someone may have fronted you money in order and to push your And now you gotta shit, pay them. And now back. you gotta pay these people back. That's right. Um. That's so, in you know, anything. That's in the that's, stuff that we do. That's in the modeling industry. That's in everything. Like right. People so, right now think that Mark Caesar has stuff. Mario P has stuff. Mm-hmm. Nonsense has stuff and everything. Mm-hmm. God, I got DMs where people think that I'm out here balling out of control. And I tell people on live 24-7, like, I'm just as broke as the next person. Like, I got bills. That's it. Y'all know I'm broke. I'm just on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, we're going to take this break, man. We'll be back with more about Young Greatness. And also, man, we're going to get into this election deal, man. Live line. The one that's talking and I'll pep up for the election because some go, of y'all baby. crazy. Cray cray. You know, when you're young and you're hungry and ambitious, you kind of have like an impatient spirit. And that's one of the curses of the young generation is impatient. Because I'm just, you know, me being grinding for a long time, I just recently got past that, you know, after understanding the game. So one of the things I share with them is, you know, kind of be patient and, you know, give, you know, give, you know, God an opportunity to turn the corner for you. You hear me? Grind for a check, young nigga, young, young nigga, grind for a check, check. Still ain't trying to leave the hood up. Still, still, ain't trying to lead a hood. Still, 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 ain't trying to lead a hood. Young, young, young nigga, grandfather. No idea who a young greatness was. I said, and what I said, I said he has a big song. I heard right the now. record. Like yeah, I heard that record before, Mula. but I played you know, it for right, you. But you been knew who I was. You just didn't know me. My next guest is making his network television debut tonight. Here with the song Moolah. Please welcome Young Greatness, featuring DJ Holiday with John Baptiste and Stay Human. Oh, oh, oh my so just to get that moolah And stack my change I can't go see the tula Straight in the kitchen I whip out that work I whip out that work
Wallace Talk Network, DJ Slick Daddy, man. I got Team Lord of Pulse Squad in the building. Mind treating boys like Marvin. Crashing parties, rip up apartments. Spartan starting fires on your carpet. 40 bargains at the grocery market. Little tips, excuse you me. You already know what it is. We got Bip in the building. We got Major P. We got Real Talk Entertainment in the building. Your girl post my pick. Mad Crush Monday. Real talk crazy, black Troy crazy, two tears in the bucket, fuck you, pay me. Live mic segment, man, in the home of tree, rock a B. Don't get your feelings involved, baby, cause we are just friends with benefits. Yeah. No need to fall in love, to fall in love, no need. I let her do her, in return she's doing me, on the phone with her friends. The New Orleans Talk Network, now on your mobile device, on your computer, in your ear, and interactive. It's new, it's innovative, and it's on your mobile device, Android, iPhone, iPad, and on your computer. Take us wherever you go, because we're interactive. 504-341-TALK. That's 504-341-8255. Slick is out today. Get well soon, Slick, man. You know what I'm saying? We praying for you, big brother. He out. You know, a little under the weather. You know what I'm saying? But Slick gonna bounce back. Absolutely. If y'all wanna see him nine times out of ten, you'll see him Thursday at After Dark Sports Bar 419 at Falcon Boulevard in Gretna. Shameless plug. Seafood night. I was I'm about to say, what, 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 what night is that? Thursday night. Okay, okay what drink specials do we got going? Damn, what drink specials do we have on Thursday? I forgot. You I don't know. Happy say. hour is... Happy hour is Friday. And tree for one. I'm just saying that. Tree <laughs> for one. I wake up in the morning on Friday going to work mm -hmm. saying tree for one. Happy hour. I'm just saying. Three for one. Anyway, Sweet. man, uh, we back, man. Once again, homie, man, young greatness, a.k.a. Theodore Jones. Dead at 34 years old. Uh, leaves behind a son and a daughter. Uh, and, a, and, a, and a family and friends and loved ones, man. Um. Uh, Man, what's crazy and what's a crazy coincidence is this is like another cash money artist that then got killed and you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be next, so I have no comment on that. I'm just saying, this is just crazy that it's another, it's a coincidence, of course. It's just a crazy coincidence. Y'all keep playing with that man. He clearly um, making bodies disappear. It's a crazy coincidence that this young cat, that's all this They is. pop with one song and then disappear. Uh, <clears throat> um, but... Anywho, man, um, what was tight, though, was um, for the Saints game, uh, Alvin Kamara yeah. had made a request to Ross Wood. Shout out to Ross Wood, mm -hmm. uh, greatest DJ in the world. He, um, Shameless plug. I'm just saying he's the greatest DJ in the world. <laughs> That's my dude. I mean, he is my favorite DJ. I'm just saying. But uh, he he made a call DJ. up to him. He made a call up to him and told him to say, man, you know what I'm saying, can we run that moolah? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a tribute to your boy, nah, nah. Showing sure up, they, they did, did it. it. Um, man, so shout out to you know what I'm saying, shout out to the homie and uh shout out to Kamara. Uh, that was that was that was real cool, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you guys, man. Um election day, man. Yes, election day. Election day. Election Let's talk day, about man. that. And, and 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 these are one of the main reasons why you guys need to get out here and damn vote, man. So we can kind of slow some of this shit down, man. Get the right people in the office to try to to try to slow this shit down at least you know what so I'm do saying? we have the topics that are on the ballot for this so, that we can talk about let's do that all right so as you guys know um we can start nationally we can start nationally so mm -hmm. you guys know that the house and the senate is up for grabs mm -hmm. um, we have a better chance of winning the house than we do the senate mm -hmm. if you guys don't know um we need what it was 23 uh we need the we need to flip 23 seats for the house and it was like a gang of them for the, the senate. senate yeah it yeah. was like a gang so it, i mean i think the it was senate only 23 is, so. the senate is almost damn near impossible for us to win like it would take like, republican it would take like a god-given miracle for us to win not saying that it can't happen and not saying that you guys aren't republican because i mean i mean you gotta be objective i'm sorry i'm politics. sorry right so 
it would take for the Democrats to flip the House. Mm-hmm. It would take them to they would have to flip like twenty three uh, of the seats, and for the Senate, it's a bunch of them. So they're not really predicting the Democrats to even try to win the seat. Mm-hmm. Also, big elections that are going um, as far as like the governor races, mm-hmm. the two big governor races that are standing out right now is uh, Gillum in Florida and uh, right. Abrams in Georgia. Uh, and when I last saw, uh, when I last saw some of the results, some of the results that came through, they weren't all the way finished. Uh-huh. But some of the results came through, and last I saw, Gillum was in the lead uh-huh. um, down in Florida. Shout out to Gillum. But uh, old girl Abrams, she got a long way to go. She got a long way to go. She is, is. she is behind like a mug. You know what I'm saying? But still have time. Do still that? Have, still have some time. It's Atlanta some is time. on the same time zone as us. No, Atlanta is no. They the votes are in. Like they finished. Like right, the polls closed awesome. in Atlanta. I'm saying they still have time as far as like you know tallying up the votes. Oh. But right now it's not looking so good for. Uh, let me give y'all an update right now, as a matter of fact. Okay, in the governor's race, right now, with 15% of the precincts in, uh, Kemp is up, who is the Republican. He's up 63%, 63.7% to 35.8% for Abrams. Um, in the Florida governor race, it has now flip-flopped. Um, DeSantis, who is the Republican, um, is in the lead 49.8% to Gillum's 49%. Mm-hmm. But it is still very, very close. 91% of the precincts are in for that race. So this one is going to come down all the way to the end. It may even end up going into a runoff. So um, y'all stay tuned for that, man. It's going to be an interesting night tonight. Um, in our, right here in the local area, um, you know, we have a bunch of like school board uh, seats up for grabs. In certain parishes, like the parish where I'm from, we have um, the, pres- the parish president um, election up. Mm-hmm. Right now, um, the polls close at eight o'clock. So, you guys, minutes. if you don't, if you haven't gone out to vote, you can like watch the live line on your phone <laughs> while you're in the car and go drive. I don't want you to stop watching the live line. You can have it playing in the background. Like, you don't oh, have to look don't. at. No, 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 no. They don't have to look at us. They can listen to us okay. on the phone and drive to the polls and go in on and vote. And if you want to sit up there and film yourself live at the poll. That's here, illegal. Do that. Like, That's illegal. No, you can't go inside the pool with the phone. Exactly. I'm saying walk into, like, I'm there, y'all. Look, I'm walking inside. That's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, got, like, got it. Not but you know they don't know that. There are a lot of people that yeah, don't know that. Yeah, they probably would have, like, actually, like, hey, exactly. y'all, look what, what I put in. Yeah, yeah, you got to be very hey, specific. Hey, yeah. Hey, you know a like, lot of people don't know that. That's can't illegal. Do that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I don't want you to get nobody disqualified. Again. I was I about to say, vote. you will get everything. Yeah, right I don't now. want your vote to get discounted. But anyway, also, two of the hottest amendments mm-hmm. um, in the state right now that's going down. Amendment one and amendment two. Mm-hmm. Um, these are hot button topics. Uh, amendment one, if you guys don't know, I don't know where you've been. Um, if it's approved, mm-hmm. amendment one will prevent convicted felons who aren't pardoned from seeking or holding elected office until five years after they have completed their sentence. Such felons right now are currently allowed to qualify for elections once they complete their sentences. Oh, so these are so amendments the first one. This that the are first on amendment. the ballot right now. Right that's now, what he's this is one about. of the amendments okay. that's on the ballot. On the, um, so right now they're right saying that after a, five years. And this is a local years, thing. This is a yeah, local thing. After five years, they should be able to run for if, a office? If it gets approved, if mm-hmm. it gets approved, they would have to wait five years. If they vote no, they can go run for office after they finish their sentence. Of course, it depends on what kind of crime they commit. You know, all felons cannot run for office. So, in other words, this is only relevant to white collar crimes and misdemeanors. Probably. Mm-hmm. Certain felons. Certain felons. Mm-hmm. I, I I have not seen. So, in other fel- words, judge. I, I mean, you would have to go and like dig a little deeper on the felons. It would take us forever to like read the whole long ass amendment. And give you the breakdown on. You the see how you just said that because a lot of you guys be. don't know that there that is a is huge long. Like, book. That shit is long. Dude. It's, it's a very book. Long. So um, y'all check. The, you know. So amendment two is the real hot button topic. Mm-hmm. Amendment two will require unanimous verdicts from juries in all non-capital felony trials. Its passage will eliminate a reconstructive era law 
Jim Crow law. Mm -hmm. That set the threshold at 10 of 12 jurors. So for those of you guys that don't understand, as of right now in Louisiana, on a jury, on a jury of 12, it only mm -hmm. takes 10 people to convict somebody. That's right. We are like one of the only states. It's only like, I don't know how many states le they have left, but there's not many that does not require a unanimous jury to convict somebody. Um, this is an old Jim Crow law, mm -hmm. and it was to take powers away from minorities. That's basically what this law basically was back in the day. I'm glad that we're saying this, because this goes into this thing that you guys like to avoid called jury duty. Mm -hmm. And I just was in the nail shop when I was getting my nails done, and the lady was telling me, like, she doesn't vote. And the another, another lady was saying, like, she votes, but she hates voting because every time she votes, she gets called for jury duty. And I told her, I said, well, you do know the purpose of jury duty is for you to be judged by your peers, right? right. That is a part of the law. So if we don't show up for jury duty because we hate it so much, right. that means that a young man who may be 16, 15 years old, is being convicted, but not by a jury of his peers, mm -hmm. but by people who do not understand, you know, like his community construct and everything. Like, they're not going to understand, like, Lil Shorty couldn't get a job, so therefore he went and he stole some money out of the, the lady purse so that he could go buy his school supplies mm -hmm. because he's mm -hmm. been up. Like, only us will understand us. Right. You feel me? Like, right. only we will understand our own community. And when right. you leave it in the hands of other people, you cannot get mad at the decisions that are made for you. Not only that, man, um, the reason why that juries are in place is to take that away from these damn crazy-ass judges. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think y'all want a judge to convict you. Because, I mean, I've seen judges in action. Well, in that's courtrooms. first. You don't want a judge and to convict you. And if a trial is presented to a judge that just pisses that judge off, you're and guilty. if that shit sounds some, if that shit even leads towards you being guilty, you're guilty. your ass guilty, and they gonna throw the book at you. So, jury duty is important. Mm -hmm. Jury duty is very important, even though you you guys don't want to do. But I mean, if you're working, people, you're getting paid for the day. Exactly, and on top so of why you complaining? like. There was a judge that was running in New Orleans. Uh, her name was Judge Pittman, and she explained a situation really quickly. She explained a situation where there were three people involved, right? Right. And it was a woman and a man, and basically they went downtown in New Orleans to the French Quarter area where the hotels and all the fancy stuff, and they set this man up. The woman went up, basically, you know, she pretended to be a prostitute that the man met on Tinder and everything else, acted like she was going to have sex, and then said, hey, I'll be right back. Right. When she said, I'll be right back, her boyfriend walked in, robbed the man, and beat him with a gun. Now, as... The Caucasian woman and the black man were running out of the hotel. Mm -hmm. The black man saw one of his homeboys that was just standing outside and said, hey, what's up? That bo black boy that said, hey, what's up back to him is now being convicted uh, of, what is it, robbery and aggravated assault. So this is the reason why we say you have to vote. And Judge Pittman, she, you know, she tried to throw it out and everything. But, of course, the Caucasian people that, you know, Caucasian man was like, no, I didn't get justice and everything. His attorney, you know, right. fought to, right. you know, get it, her decision overturned. They got her decision overturned by a Caucasian judge that was over top of her. <sighs> and so now this boy is in jail. I think she said a minimum, the minimum sentence or something like that was like five to ten years. Damn. So regardless, you know, like of anything like she the minimum was five years you feel me like his his life is destroyed for five years regardless Damn. he has to serve like five years Damn. Damn. like there is no way around that so that's the re one reason why you need to go vote that's another reason why you need to go join the jury because you see how stupid that sounded dude basically said hi to his partner he had no idea that you know this guy was going to rob this other man he didn't even know what the other man looked like you know, he didn't know who the white woman was that set the man up or anything else like that. He had no prior knowledge of this crime at all. Didn't get paid, didn't get no money, didn't get anything off of it. But now he got the jail time for saying what's up to his homeboy. Damn, man. That's crazy, man. And I learned that from, yeah, these judges and officials, they have campaigning parties and everything. And she had a beautiful campaigning party. And I went, and that's when I learned about it. And I was like, wow. And she was in... She was fighting, I think, to go back to, like, the juvenile courts or something. No, the circuit court or something like that. Damn, damn, yeah. man. Hey, man, it is very, very important for you guys to go out and vote this election. Um, 
we'll get into it a little bit more um, in a minute because uh, we got to go hit a quick Because you got break. 30 minutes. got to go hit a quick break. Um, but before we go to break, I just want to let you know, another thing that's up for voting, fellas, I know you guys like the betting stuff, fantasy sports betting is up for grabs. Um, go ahead on and vote for fantasy sports betting. I'm just saying. Ladies, go ahead and Can don't you, vote for it. Please, please give us the right to vote. Ladies, they please never. Give us, please give us the right to bet. Ladies, you'll never see them. Give us the right Nope. Bet. That's all I'm saying. Ladies, shut it down. Bet 30 sports, minutes. Baby. Shut down. Bet on sports. Let's 30 go. minutes. Shut it down. Bet on sports. Live line. New Orleans Talk Network. Shut it down. Bet on vote sports. Vote no. Bet on sports. We won't go. Bet on sports. We, we still going to bet on them anyway. <laughs> vote no. Ladies, show up. Still going to bet show on them anyway. Show up. Right, we'll <laughs> Greatness, and I'm just here to change the game and just add some flavor to hip hop. I'm talking fresh white tea like it's 95. 95. Brand new soldieries like it's 95. 95. Ooh, that coca leave like it's 95. 95. Colors on them, these like it's 95. 95. Young Greatness, where did that name come from? And it fits you perfectly, but where did that name come from? One of my homies in New Orleans, he gave me the name like at a younger age when I first started rapping. Right. He always told me I was going to be like one of the great ones. He always believed in me, so that name kind of stuck with me since then. They, they never take me alive, I'm on my park shit. I got my coochie sweater on, feeling like big and small. I got that dope up in the kitchen where my ice are tall. I drop my rolls, bro, he race me, man, I fuck them all. He bitch a hating on no nigga, let no nigga ball. Don't run your mouth talking about where that money mm, I came with my pot and shoot like a homie And I'm excited to, you know, show the world You know what I have in store for this year You know, like we have a lot of Charisma and, and character And expressions, you know, with our music And just, you know, the way we say certain different things So I'm just trying to get people familiar with Young Greatness Familiar with my story And familiar with my sound I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh, whoa. I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh, whoa. I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh, whoa. I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh, whoa. I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh, whoa. I'm a big time on baby, big time on baby, ooh. What has the love been like in New Orleans? Talk to me about that. I can't go nowhere. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't, I can't go to my kids' school. I, I take a million pictures. People run up to me, hugging me, crying. So, you know, the love is real. The love is real, and it's getting crazy. I need you to also talk to people and let them understand when you speak things into existence that they can happen and whatnot. You've told me a lot of man, things that you wanted to happen, and they're all happening. Man. So talk to them about how that works. I, I, I believe faith without works is dead. And if you believe in something and you keep talking about it and you're speaking it into existence, you know what I'm saying, it's going to happen. Don't give up on your dream. All the talk network, DJ Slick Daddy, man. I got Team Lord and Pote Squad in the building. Mind treating boss like Marvin. Crashing parties, rip up apartments. Spartan starting fires on your carpet. 40 bargains at the grocery market. Little tips, excuse you me. You already know what it is. We got Bimp in the building. We got Major P. We got Real Talk Entertainment in the building. Your girl post my pick. Mad Crush Monday. Real talk crazy, black Troy crazy, two tears in the bucket, fuck you, pay me. Live mic segment, man, in the home of tree, rock a B. Don't get your feelings and go home, baby, cause we are just friends with benefits. Yeah. No need to fall in love, to fall in love, no need. no need, I let her do her, in return she's doing me, on the phone with her friends. Like how cool is he? Her old love was your pedal. I had to cut the string. Now. Now New Orleans has a choice. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app for your mobile device or listen at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. Yo, 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 it's your boy Mickey Fax, and right now you're tuned into the live line right here, only on the New Orleans Talk Network. Keep it locked, because you know I got it locked. This is the best show on earth. New Orleans, baby, holla at me. Oh, yeah. Cash game. Yeah. We just come to ball. We just come to ball. Yeah. 
Talk Network on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Periscope. That's right. Y'all already know, man. At the Live Line 504 is how you reach us there. www.neworleanstalknetwork.com backslash live dash line. Check out the live mic series and different other clips from the show. That's right. Also, some of the hottest music, video, music videos as well. And some of our bloopers as well. Check them out. Wait, we gotta, what? Yeah, bloopers. Uh, we got call on line one right now. Call on line one. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up, Carla? It's What's good, Carla? y'all? Carla? Carla, line one? What's good? What's going on? Oh, uh, I is slid. that who I think that is? Is it the What's one? good, y'all? What's hey, up, King Ibi, Ibi. What's going on? It's the king, y'all. King Ibby, Ibby. What's up, Ibby, yeah. Ibby? What's happening, bruh? Man, I'm, I'm trying to get better, y'all. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, right man. Ain't nothing, nothing. You, you know what that was, huh? That's from that party, man. You That's know what I'm right. saying? That's from the big party, bro. You Did know he how get I a go. big booty on? He had a couple uh-huh. in there. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Shut up, Slick. We can't tell on you. Can't tell on you. Can't tell on you. Oh, Slick, you nasty. No. Hey, Slick, you made it out the vote, man? You got to go vote? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what I was going to all tell everybody. Tell them, bro. I'm tell them. voting, man. Tell them, Slick. Right. Tell them. voting. Take this voting serious, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This vote is well. You got to go out and vote. I don't care if you don't like Donald Trump. I don't care if you don't like nobody that's on a poll. Go mm-hmm. out and vote. That's I got right. all my feelings with the go vote. Yeah, you're right. That's so. how serious it was. Yeah, bro, it is serious, man. It is serious. We do have, we do need to go out and vote, man. It's very important for us to go out and vote. Extremely serious. important. This is. I don't think people realize that this election might be more serious than the presidential election. It is. Wait a minute. And they don't realize We're not going to say might. It and is more serious than the presidential they election. And, and they don't realize why it's, um, you know what I'm saying, like a real top election, Slick. You know what I'm saying? I know. And and, and we're going we gonna, we gonna to give them a little, we're about to give them a little, you know what I'm saying, education. We're about to educate them right quick, Slick. Let's educate the people, Slick. So, yeah. The reason why this election is very, very important and, and, and is the most important election that we have is because the House and the Senate are the ones that really, really run this shit. They run the country. They run this shit. So, whatever party affiliation you have, mm-hmm. if they have the power, they run the country. That's true. Basically, point blank. So don't think because the president, this is in a presidential um year, presidential election year, um that you shouldn't go out and vote. And I see that that's what people get the misconception that because I it's s- not a presidential election that they don't need. To go out yeah, and vote. it's miseducation. You know um, what I'm saying? Um, Slick, what you say to that? Slick man, tell the people man they mis- need to go out. And, man, work. tell them why they need to go out and vote one more time, Slick. Because. I don't care if you're white, black, Spanish, every vote counts. Yeah. Your voice is rather to be heard. That's Your right. Your voice counts. That's right. Sick daddy voice counts. Yep. Black cocoa voice counts. My voice counts. Yep. Like what Sykes said today, if you don't go out there and vote, I'm not going to talk to you to January the 1st. And I'm filled with Sykes. <laughs> Slick, I ain't you know gonna talk. To, Slick, if they don't go out and vote, I ain't gonna talk to them for the next six years. Cause that's how long it's gonna be before the next uh, House and Senate vote come up. <laughs> I'm petty. Yeah. I'm gonna talk. To them. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm gonna talk to y'all. You just might not like that's what ridiculous. I say. <laughs> I'm too yeah, petty right. for that. Slick. Hey, Slick, man, you you bouncing back to the club this week or what, bro? You gonna be straight or what? Probably next week. Next week. Go right the after dark, you gonna be Saturday. at after dark. Next All week? right, so you're going to be back next week. Next week, you're coming back, right? Yeah, probably Monday to the doctor say to the cut deal. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you're right, man. Well, look, bro, you get you get yourself together, man. Get That's yourself right. rest, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know we're going to hold it down for you. Everywhere you at, we're going to hold it down, bro. 
Love y'all. Love, love, you, love you, Black you too. Uncle. Love you, Sick Daddy. Love you too, love my brother. brother. I'll be back. May God bless y'all. Keep up the good work, y'all. Oh, Bye. man, we love appreciate you. it, man. Love you, Bye. dog. That's our homie, man. The one and only Mr. Peace. Ibby Ibby, man. Mr. Ibby Ibby calling in, letting y'all know. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. Ooh, how much time they got? They got. Call in. You got like 15 more minutes before the polls like close. What is this? 7 40. 40. So you got like 20 more minutes before the yeah. polls close. So hurry up. And also, listen to me, people. And this is also a misconception. If you're in line before that poll close, you can go vote. They That's cannot right. kick you out the line. They have to, they have to let you vote. That's right. So don't let nobody sit up there and tell you if you make it to the poll at 759, damn it. You got to vote. You have to vote. Don't let right. them kick you out the line. People, y'all That's need to illegal. be educated on this stuff. That is illegal. And if they're trying to stay in line, make that phone call. Make the phone call. You need to call the uh, registers. You need to call the registers office and let them know, hey, I'm in line. They're trying to kick me out because the polls closed. And you stay in that line while you're on that phone. Mm-hmm. Remember that, people. You have the right to vote. They cannot tell you not to vote. I knew that this that. was extremely serious when all the strippers, porn stars, exotic dancers, and everything started wearing like the flags on their titties this morning and said it was Titty Tuesday and today it was your day to vote. Damn, if you sick. wanted to see free pictures of certain people's titties, they was giving it away as long as you had an I vote sticker. Yes, and damn indeed. That's what's up. So, hey, if you want to see Exchange a Exchange it. Just go ahead on and put a vote sticker on you. Put a vote sticker and say you voted and you was going to get some ass and titties today. Let me give you a little national results update right now. Um, for the, in, in the Senate, in the Senate, it is now Republicans 42, Democrats 31. The Democrats need 51 votes to control the House. The Republicans only need 50. And I know yep. you're saying, well, why? Well, we have a Republican president. Yep. In there. So, yeah. if we come up to vote, if it comes up to vote, the vice president breaks the tie. Uh-huh. Who is what? Republican. So, they'll win the vote. Basically. True. Scenario. But I don't really be... Uh, no, I'm just saying. You do know that I'm the Republicans saying. in the office... Right I know they're they, like, they beefing. They don't like drunk. I know they're beefing, <laughs> but... I'm they just, can't stay in But Trump. Pence is going to go... Pence is going to go okay, with... Okay, he's going you know go yeah, to go party. Go we with do that, know so. that. All right. With the House... It's very, very close. It's very, very close in the House. Um, it's 47 Republican, 46 Democrats. We have, uh, the Democrats have picked up some, you know, picked up some seats, have turned over some seats. Uh, Democrats now need 21 mm-hmm. pickups. 21 pickups needed by the Democrats for control of the seat if you are a Democrat. Um, 218 is needed for control of the House of Representatives, just in case you didn't know that. Right. Um, so that's that. And in the governor's races that we are looking at that are, you know, that's the high, the high ones, you know what I'm saying? The ones that big national ones, the that people, ones. the big popular ones that we're all looking at in Florida, um, it's 50% to 48.8%. DeSantis is winning. Um, and in Georgia, it is Kemp 59.7%. Abrams, 39.6%. 27% of the precincts are in in Georgia. 95% of the precincts are in in Florida. So Florida is, is pretty much done. It is very, very, it's still very, 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 very close in Florida. Um, it's so close. Like, usually when you get close votes like that, they may do recounts and all kind of stuff. Mm. Or... I think, well, I think they're actually eligible for a runoff because there's more than two people running for the seat. So if there's more than two people running for the seat, they'll actually run for a runoff. So we'll stay okay. tuned for that. Just pay attention to all the local news, uh, yep. NBC, CBS, uh, ABC, uh, Fox, <laughs> MSNBC, CNN, whatever it is that you like to and watch. And you need to be careful about which ones that you watch because remember, each of them is pretty much biased towards a specific so, party. Yeah, you need to watch that too. Yeah. You need to watch that too. Um, oh, I want to drop this knowledge on you guys as well. Uh, another important reason why you guys need to go out and vote. So, Michael Cohen, I don't know if you guys know who Michael Cohen is. You got to explain uh, it to him. Michael Cohen is the former uh, go get it man, the runner of Donald Trump. <laughs> AK, that's his lawyer. Mm-hmm. He, that was his, well, his former lawyer. Yeah. Um, he's no longer his lawyer now because his ass, uh, actually ran him out. 
But anyway, Michael Cohen had an interview with Vanity Fair. And he stated that Donald Trump once said, and I want y'all to listen up, black people are too stupid to vote for me. And he suggested that all countries run by blacks are shit holes. Hmm. I'm going to say this one more time. I mean, like, I, it's not unbelievable. Black people are too stupid to vote for me. Mm-hmm. And countries ran by blacks are shit holes. That's what Donald Trump said. He also said, not only the countries, but look at the states that's ran by black folk. They shit holes. These are the words of Donald Trump. Y'all still don't want to go out and vote? I'm just saying, y'all still don't want to go out and vote? I think you guys need to get off your ass. If you haven't went out yet, you got about oh, 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 11 oh, minutes. Done. You got about 11 minutes. So if you stay around the corner from the pool. Hurry up, get to it. I need you to hurry up and get to the pool, y'all. That's the kind of stuff that we're dealing with in this country. Our country is so divided. It is very, very divided. So we need to come up with some whatever is not working. So, I mean, my suggestion is this. I can't tell y'all which way to vote. Can't tell you what party to affiliate yourself with. Right. But this is how I look at it. If the current system is not working, change it. Vote for something. You need to flip it. it. You need to switch it over and let's see if something else gonna work. I'm just saying. Once again, I can't tell you how to vote, who to vote for, whatever case may be. That would be all the way wrong. Mm -hmm. But I will say this: if you feel as though this country is super divided Mm -hmm. and uh, we got some bullshitty going on, the way to get rid of the bullshitty. It's a vote. It's just a flip it. Do a 180. But here's the thing that do I need African Americans to also realize. Yeah. You do know when it comes to politics that the Republicans and Donald Trump have a lot of conservative views. Yep. So that falls in line with the black churches. So when people ask how Donald Trump actually got into office, I need some of y'all to really understand a lot of the black churches were the ones that helped to push him into office. That's the reason why he had that meeting with all those black pastors. Mm -hmm. Because he was trying to get them more involved. So you have to be very careful, look at the issues, and I always tell people, vote what is important to you. I had the lady, again, while I was in the nail shop, the one that said, our vote doesn't count. I said, well, why do you feel like your vote doesn't count? Well, Donald Trump is president. I said, well, did you vote? And she was, uh, and the other guy, lady that was behind getting her feet down was like, because I don't understand why you, how he got in office. And so because I turned you back felt around. Like your vote didn't count no, that woman did. But I turned around and I asked the lady, I said, well, did you vote again? And she was like, no, I didn't vote. I said, oh, okay. So Donald Trump got in office when you didn't vote. I said, did you vote for Obama? She said, yeah, of course. Everybody voted for Obama. Okay. And he got in the office twice. So for people who say their votes do not count, you have historically seen in the last eight years how your vote does impact the, you know, society and the community. You voting, white people care about you. There are some white people that actually care about you. So if you stand up and say, this is hurting me, this is affecting me, and all this other stuff, your white homeboys be like, man, I really rock with them, so I'm going to go vote. Right. So now we get the black and the white vote, and we become more united. Now, I'm not telling you who to vote for. Exactly. I don't care if you're exactly. a liberal. I don't care if you're Man, conservative. Don't care if you vote Most people don't myself. even know. know. Most African Americans don't even know that they're more conservative and more Republican than they actually are Democrat. Mm-hmm. Because they're against certain things based on the church, like homosexuality and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Those are conservative views more than liberal. Yeah. You know, so know who you are, know what you want to see in office, actually go online, take the tests that actually tell you what you are, Democrat or Republican or how conservative or how liberal you are and everything else and pay attention. You know what? I look at I look at the parties and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I look at it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna affiliate myself with this party as far as a politician. Mm-hmm. Because if I could tell these motherfuckers something that I know if I could tell the majority of these motherfuckers something that I know they like to hear, they gonna vote for me. I mm-hmm. might do something totally fucking different when I get in office. Oh, absolutely. But I just want to get, like, like Trump did. Politicians Trump, are legalized Trump, liars. Trump, Trump ran on the, Trump ran on the theme of 
not the not just make America great again, mm-hmm. but he ran on a theme of fuck politics, get away from politics, let's get a businessman in there. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, let's let's do something different. Politics hasn't done this country Trump right. You know on, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's not. The, politics doesn't do the country right. I'm not a politician. I'm a business. I'm a businessman. And we're so in debt, so I know how to let handle me run business. business. Yeah, let me run. A, you know what I'm saying? The, the country it is was a business. That so let me and run a business, his know? conservative views that pushed him in the office he was against homosexuality he was also against like immigration Mm -hmm. reform like he was against all those things that there were a lot of blacks like when blacks ask me like why did trump get into office that's because there were a lot of blacks that are actually against immigration reform and people don't Mm -hmm. realize that all of the african-american males that cannot get jobs because the hispanics or illegal immigrants are getting it at a lower price and a cheaper price they voted for Trump, you know, like all the, you know, churches that have been persecuted and for- forced to marry the LGBT community and it goes against their religious background. They voted for, for Trump. Trump. You feel me? Like that's how he got into office. Like he literally stayed true to who he is, which is I don't want to call him a bigot, but, you know, like and He's he said that uh-huh. these things <laughs> are important. Right. Therefore, I'm going to hold true. And he, I got to give it to him. He is the first politician that I have really seen that has really gotten into office and everything that he said, whether it be like fucked up or not, he has held true to it. Yeah, he did. He, he really did. has. He, he did said say, he was going to build fuck... a wall. When he said did he, he not tell up? Mexico, you going to pay for it. He said, man, I'm dropping all these different sanctions. Exactly. He said, man, bump this uh this stuff about, man, global warming and stuff. Man, I don't believe in that shit, man. Drop that I shit. Drop like, it. he did all of that. Everything, he, everything that he, he said, said he was going to do. Now, it's some fucked up shit that he did. It's some fucked up shit. It's some fucked up shit that he did. But he held true to it. He might. I mean, and this is not saying, this is not saying a lot. And this is not saying that I like him or nothing like that. Yeah. doesn't make me like him. But he might be the first damn president to ever do everything that he said he was going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I see that. I mean, from a I'm just saying, political hey, standpoint, you know I love this. Y'all it's know I'm a fucked political up shit. science major. But, yeah, from a political standpoint, like, that's unheard of because politicians are literally raised to be legalized. Like, like I, as a political science major, they tell you to, they teach you a little bit on how to do campaigning. Mm-hmm. We give you and we feed you a whole bunch of promises Think, knowing that you're going to eat it up, you're going to feed off of it, you're not going to really background search us, especially with people my age nowadays. All I got to do is put a nice-ass meme out there and a couple of T-shirts, get a couple of these rappers or my homeboys to wear, and you're going to vote for that person because I said that he was hot and popping. I could get a whole bunch of exotic dancers, strippers, and everything to put, throw that ass in a circle with Trump's name on it. you going to go for it and not investigate it. I saw some sad shit today. Um, I was on my way to lunch coming from work and I work mm-hmm. down in my hometown now. Um I was on my way to lunch. Well I was coming from lunch or going back to work and mm-hmm. I saw some shit that was like, damn man, I see why like we all fucked up in the head. Uh-huh. So there's a race that's going on down in Plaquemines Parish with the parish president. Right. Um, par- there's three candidates that's up for grabs. There was an actual uh debate on WDSU this past Sunday with the three candidates. Um, of the three candidates, only one of the candidates really spoke well. The other two sounded like they didn't know what the fuck they were doing or what the mm-hmm. fuck they were talking about. The president that's in now has jacked up a lot of shit, and he was talking, still talking reckless. The dude that's trying to run couldn't talk. Like, he was babbling and stuff, and it's like, dude, you're about to be the head of a parish of a, bu- of a bunch of people. That's right. And you can't get in front of the camera and actually speak. Like, you can't do that. Like, right. I don't need you up there. And then you had one guy that was actually able to, you know what I'm saying, like, speak. You know what I'm saying? Actually do some great public speaking. And mm-hmm. he spoke with some damn sense. Now, keep in mind, everybody that knows Plaquemines Parish and from where I'm from, the East Bank side is, like, the forgotten side of the parish, the East Bank side. Mm-hmm. It's majority black. It's majority black. So... There was, like, one truck that was riding down that had the one candidate that couldn't speak a word. Mm-hmm. The, the candidate that sounded stupid mm-hmm. on camera that couldn't talk. And he had signs on the side of his truck, on the front of the truck, signs on the back of the truck, like, pushing the thing. And I know sometimes, and, and this is where I'm going at with it. I know that sometimes we'll sit up there and we'll do some shit to, like, make some money and act like we're going to do this, do that, this, that, mm-hmm. and the third. 
But I need you guys to think about this on this level when you go out and do things like that. If I, I'll use myself as an example. If I decided to sit up there and go do some shit and wear a t-shirt that says Donald Trump. Let's right. just say Let's just say you didn't know that Donald Trump is as fucked up as he is. Right. But I decided, fuck it. I'm going to go and campaign for Trump so I can put money in my pocket. Right. I influence a lot of people. That's right. I know that people are looking up. I got people that look up to me and look at me as a role model. Or may look at me as like, this dude has some sense. He knows what he's talking about. So like, if he's running, if he has Trump on his shirt, then I'm going to vote for Trump. See, y'all don't realize the influence that you have on people. That's what an influencer is. You don't realize it. Even though you sitting up there and you doing this shit because you trying to make money, People are gonna look at you and say, "Well, damn, that's my boy. He that's right, what he voting for." Not gonna read. Well, damn, I'm gonna go vote for him too. Right. And you done fucked up the whole deal. So my point is to you guys and girls: be mindful when you're doing shit like that, because you can really fuck up some shit. I'm just saying, be mindful of that. That shit. and to the people who are on the other side, I need you to research. It's so easy. Google works. You can even say, "Hey, Google." Yeah. Phone, don't do it. But uh, I had to tell my phone, Big don't do it. <laughs> Siri. Yeah, Siri. All of them work. All of them. And just ask what these people, uh, people's, or people, yeah, person's political views are. Sorry, I like really hurt my tongue, so it's hard for me to you speak. Right. You're right. I did. You're right. You're it right. wasn't me that really hurt my tongue. I had a lot of, hmm. You know what? But, anyway, um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Shit, you cool. What I did? Back to we politics, both man. We're being serious now. We Let's both go. voted. Here we go. Yeah, we did vote, goddammit. You know what? You know what? I can't. You know what? That's important, too, because <laughs> there were a lot of things up to gra- for grab influ- in you California influ- dealing with sex workers. Yeah. Man, look. <laughs> and sexual educators. So make sure you're, you know, paying attention to the hot topics and the issues and everything else and... Get out there, and you got less than, I think it's almost it's over. done. It's, oh, it's over. over. It's Actually. over. It's over. If you didn't get out the vote, vote, it's over for you. Hey. Um, for those of y'all that's still happens. standing in line, watching the live line, stay in line until you get to that damn boot and I'm vote. Sorry. Don't get out of line. Give you a quick update real quick before we go to hashtag that's that bullshit. That's right. It's 58-54 Republicans in the House. Um, 58-54 Republicans are in the Senate. Um, it's still 42:31, so they're still waiting for some polls to close. Um, probably won't get those numbers till either late tonight, tomorrow morning. I'm just telling you, all right? Mm-hmm. So y'all pay attention. If you're into it, it will be on all night long, dog. The coverage will be on all night long. Um, Your phone probably gonna tell you anyway, exactly, because it's on Google's mainstream page. Shout out to everybody, man, that did go out and vote and did use their voices. Um, and to you guys that didn't go out and vote and are going to complain about who won and who lost yesterday. Shout out to the sex industry for stepping up and influencing people. We use titties, ass, ropes, and everything. So Dynamo Sex Toy Company had, like, bondage, and they had, like, two ropes, beautiful knotting, one in all blue, one in all red, to influence people to go out there and vote. Thank you. That is creative. That is using your influence to actually, you know, change the world versus vote for this rapper or listen to my mixtape. You know, like we actually used it for something else. So I, I appreciate that. Shout out to Coco for for giving the sex um, community, you know, what I'm saying the real the porno and sex community, you know, what I'm saying the big ups because only she would recognize the sex community. I'm just playing. And I'm just being <laughs> honest. Like, nah, man, but that was that was forget. very unique. And I mean, y'all shout talking out about to me, man. New Orleans. Y'all just stepped up because it's not just me. If you drive across to the West Bank, Tinder didn't even say get out there and vote. Your vote counts. It's a big old billboard by Tinder. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, yo, man. We here. We live. We lit. We hey, sexual man. free and lifestyleish. Shout out to you guys, man. Thank y'all for going out and voicing your opinion, man. And I hope everything goes the way that you want it to go. And I hope that this election ends up helping to start bringing our country together, bringing people together, and flipping this shit around. You know True. The Caucasian so people because stop because acting stupid. Well, we got two more years before we... Because we tired of holding our tongue. We got two more years before we get this other shit together. That's right. Yeah, two more years before this other shit get together. So let's get it... Let's start it, Let's start getting it right now, and then maybe we'll get it right in two years. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. Time for it. Hashtag TTBS. Yes. Mike, run it.
Bullshit is everywhere. Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit. Teachers are full of shit. They got me fucked up right now on that bullshit. You video typing? Yes. Fantastic. Disrespectful. That's super disrespectful. <laughs> Maybe it was Halloween. <laughs> or he was talking back in school. But that's that's disrespectful to shave your child's head off like that. That's child abuse. Oh, that was cute. I saw that Halloween costume with the little wow, girl who was holding that her That was that bullshit though. No, that's that bullshit. Two what rats. The boxing. Hell? Two rats boxing. Really, bro? It looks like the uh, one on the left getting the best of him. In the store? For real, dog? Oh, they in the store fighting? Are you serious, bro? Man, he got the last crumb. I feel it. In the store, though? That's right. In the grocery store? Mm-hmm. You know what? Look, I heard you're scared of clowns. No. Oh, I, saw that. I heard that. Impossible. Why is it impossible? Because I'm a black man. <laughs> you can be scared. I have so many other things to be fearful of. A clown is not going to scare me. Really? Yes. I don't like mm. that. I'm not afraid of clowns. Yeah. I, but I heard that you were. Oh, God damn. Yeah. 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 I don't like clowns like the actual clowns. <laughs> Record that. Well, an uh, LSU fan came stuck his spike in my booty. Bitch, I don't play that shit. I will kill out here. Anybody play with me, I will kill you out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alabama, yeah. I don't play that shit. Yeah. You a Alabama fan. That's on this. You a I mean, that was okay. the, that's that bullshit. That's hashtag. That's that bullshit. And I think, what you think? What you think, Coco? Coco, I'm going to let you have that one. I think the rats. You, you, you think the rats? I think the rats. The rats in the store fighting? You think the that's rats that bullshit? In the, yeah. Because, I mean, like, somebody was going to use that EBT to buy that food earlier <laughs> that day. And the rats have been fighting over the last crumb that was in the store. You know, like, I'm, I'm with it. I say the rats. Well, but that left rat was getting, that left rat got hands. It was, get, it was getting it in. It looked like, so, basically, that left rat was like, bitch, I'm tired of you talking shit about me. You gonna stop stealing these crumbs. I told you I got hands. And the other one was like, no, you don't. You ain't got no hands and everything else. And then he basically whooped that. See, I'm with it. I feel the left rat. Because, I mean, like, these little, these mice be out here talking all types of shit. So, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, throw these hands and show them where the fuck you from. I'm with the left rat. The left rat got that wow 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 so so the, and, but the last one was the alabama fan accusing an lsu fan of sticking his finger in his booty oh so it was the alabama fan accusing yeah. an lsu fan of sticking a finger in the booty yeah y'all nasty down south y'all just into all types of stuff it's okay because that's a fetish and that goes into you know coco sex tip right there because remember there's a pituitary gland that is located in your anal cavity that actually stimulates the g-spot for a male or female there is a g-spot back there there you go coco sex tip of the week coco. Uh, what Coco just said was that bullshit. No, it's not. Ain't no sex hey, in life. Hey, y'all. Don't forget to check out the live line on Twitter, <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, and Periscope. Check out the webpage, www.livelinenewallestalknetwork.com backslash live dash line. Check out all the different clips on there, especially the live mic series. That's right. Uh, check out a beautiful picture out, of course. And if I'm you want to get on the show, if you want to get on the show, just go down and fill out that information right on there. that little spot right there that's that you right. see right there on the screen. That's right. Fill it out. You can even send us like a little copy of your video if that's you want right. your video played. If I like it, I'm going to play it. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> I'm not. Just, it just, never makes it to I'll just them. play it. I'll just play it. We gonna oh, play I'm it. being honest. Like, it never makes it to you guys. Like, I got like 10 music videos in my DMs right now. Well, they ain't never gave it to you. I never gave it to They never sent it to you. So, that, and I mean, like, I got the commercial right. on there. Well, it's all good. It's all good. Well, anyway, yo, 
on behalf of the homie Slick, who's not here, mm-hmm. recite. My homie Mike. They in there holding it down. Thank you, guys. Pastor Donald, thank you for giving us the platform. All the network. Thank you, guys, man. Hey, to everybody went out and voted. That's right. Shouts out to you. Again, to the people that didn't go out and voted. Whatever. Yeah. On, my, on behalf of my girl, Nipple Gate, a.k.a. Black Coco. Thank you to everybody that's about to make me at 10,000 subscribers <laughs> and followers. Woo! I'm the yes. homie, man. Slick Daddy, man. Live Keep by me. Keep following me. The Money. network. We'll be back next week. Boy! Money over murder. Cash game. All right. Yeah. We just come to ball. We just come to ball. Party and have fun. We just come to ball. I'm a stand up nigga, me. You know how I come through. Thousand dollar jeans on. I'm on my shit, nigga. You knew it! Uh, big paper. I'm talking lots of cash. Can I draw that Lambo reckless, bitch? I'm on your ass. Look, I can see these haters out my Gucci shades. Since you talking home, boy, bitch, you could die today. Freddy Krueger in this movie talking Halloween. Since you acting Charlie Sheen, huh? Take this magazine. Yeah, man down, man down. Fuck that talking on these records, we gon' lay them down. I'm yelling action, I'm directed like a Spike Lee. Hit my goons be on deck, I'm talking no feet. Yeah, I'm yelling get them and they lurking. So when you talk that rap shit, I hope it's worth it. In your hood, we come and get you, we need no direction. Direction. So I hope you have your lip protection. <laughs> and we here to turn your lights out. That's what you fuck, boys, getting out around your mouth. Bitch, nigga, I said that. Said that. Said that. I said that. I said that. Pussy nigga, you know I said that. Said that. Said that. I said that. Said that. Bitch, nigga, you know I said that. Said that. Let's talk network DJ Slick Daddy, man. I got Team Lord and Post Squad in the building. Mind treating bars like Marvin. Crashing parties, rip up apartments. Spartan starting fires on your carpet. 40 bargains at the grocery market. Little tips, he skews me. You know what it is. We got Bip in the building. We got Major P. We got Real Talk Entertainment in the building. Your girl posts my pick. Mad Crush Monday. Real talk crazy, black Troy crazy, two tears in the bucket, fuck you, pay me. Live mic segment, man, in the home of tree, rock a beat. Don't get your feelings involved, baby, cause we are just friends with benefits. No need to fall in love, to fall in love, no need. I let her do her, in return she's doing me, on the phone with her friends. Like how cool is he? Her old love was Geppetto. I had to cut the string. Oh, yeah, we live, dude. We in here. New Orleans, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, y'all? Let's know it's your boy, Chapel, the real Chapel, man. Where your head go at on his way, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look out for the new. Now it's called Life is Bigger, man. New Orleans Talk Network, man. What's up? Y'all know where it is. Come on, we about to drop this thing, man. Y'all know how it's going down. Skip, chicken and watermelon on New Orleans Talk Network. Boom. I can talk for New Orleans for the network. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, Moon Live in this bitch, sure, man. Rockefeller 2.5 quarter, but bitch, it's going down right now. New Orleans Talk Network, you understand me? And we holding it down. They got to let the fucking guala. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? It's your boy, I go DJ Black and my CEO to go DJ's Louisiana. You are not tuned in to the livest live line that you can ever, ever, ever see. It's the live line right here in New Orleans on no New Orleans Talk Radio Network. All that good stuff. If I said it wrong, I don't care. We out here. Let's go. New Orleans Talk Network. Yeah. New Orleans Talk Network. We live on New Orleans Talk Network. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Putting in work. You feel me? Uh, on your back like a tattoo. I thought you knew, baby. Hold the prince and big chew. Huh? Ooh. Brr, I stick it. <laughs> our listeners are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504 341 8255. The New